All right, we're doing this. First off, don't treat me like some guilty pleasure. You hit that like button. You hit it. You grind on the face of that like button. You do it. All right. We have ourselves a mail call haul. We got ourselves a mail call haul. We're going to be unboxing these packages here. We have some local stuff. It's a hodgepodge of a little bit of everything. And this is something that I got in the mail, but I so wasn't sure what the hell this was. I had to open it because I forgot I ordered it. Captain Britain, number 13 from the 1985 series. This book, does anybody remember about a year ago uh, when this book was hot? Near mint copies of this. Uh, they were going for like $300. Like th the book was that hot, that hard to find. I can't say that this book is that expensive now. I would say this book is probably a VF copy, uh, which is fine with me. I got this for $30. Um, got this from 30 bucks. And what more did I want to say? Um, first full appearance of Psylocke as Captain Britain. Um, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. But yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, I mean, if this were a year ago, I'd be really, really excited. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to find it. Uh, uh, nevertheless, nevertheless. All right, we're moving on. I tell you what, let's do these local books and then we'll uh, and then we'll unpackage some packages. How about that? Magnificent Miss Marvel number 11, second print. Finally, finally found this stupid thing. I got this for cover price. I found this for cover price. And this was just sitting on the rack at my local shop. And from the thing that I can, the only thing that I can explain, because I'm at this store very frequently, and this book has been on my want list for about a month or two. And the only thing that I can think is that this was on somebody's pull list and they never came to pick up their pull and they just put it back on the shelf. That's the only thing that I can think because I remember looking for this at the exact spot where this book was like, you know, just a few weeks ago. So, um, Magnificent Marvel, number 11, second print, first appearance of Storm Ranger. And uh, there she is, there this character is on the cover. Okay, all right. So I finally found this dumb thing. What is this book going for? Like fifteen bucks, fifteen to twenty dollars. Uh, let's do some Star Wars. Star Wars Adventures. Star Wars Adventures number seventeen. This is the one in ten retail incentive. Uh, found this for less than cover price. Got this for half, and. Uh, what did I want to say about this? It's, um, when I bought it, like the day that I picked this book up, this was, um, uh, Sunday, like a copy had already sold for $40. So yeah. Okay. So found this for less than cover price and it's already going for roughly $40. Okay. All right. One in 10 variant. All right, I can't say that there's a first appearance going on with this, like in 16, but, um, yeah, all right, <laughs> all right, okay, what's next? All right, I'm excited about this. I was looking for this. I was looking for this book. So we have Next Wave Agents of, ha Next Wave Agents of Hate, number one. Okay, so this is Monica Rambo's team. And so, and also, this is the first appearance of Elsa Bloodstone. Um, this is the first appearance of her. I'm not, I do not like, uh, this is a book that I did buy uh, back in the day, like right off the rack when it first came out. But I gotta be honest with you, I do not like this cover. This like Hawaiian motif and I don't know, like they're trying to be avant-garde with like the the design of the cover but it's just it's a it's a it's a fail it's a fail but anyway so we have the first appearance of elsa bloodstone's look the first appearance of her red hair so she's so this book is from 2006 and so she's had this look for about 15 years now um so we have also on the team machine man monica rambeau as i mentioned that's boom boom 
as it turns out. And this is the first appearance of this character here. His name is the Captain. No relation to Captain America. He's just some regular schlub that gains superpowers. Uh, it's, this is also the first appearance of... Uh, I, wrote, I wrote it down in the notes. First appearance of Dirk Anger. He's the villain of this story. And also the first appearance of Hate. H-A-T-E. Highest anti-terrorism effort, and also the first appearance of the Beyond Corporation, and also the first appearance of the Heart Star. Um, it's the it's the thing that this guy gets that gives him his superpowers. So this is what uh, the Captain gains. He's like below average intelligence guy. He runs into a couple of aliens, and he gains the abilities of the Heart Star. Or is it called the Heart Star, or the Star Heart, or whatever it is? And it gave and it gives him uh, these superpowers. Now he's not the ca the 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 captain is uh, he, he's like very short lived as a superhero. But um, I do like this book long term, especially because it's is this is the first appearance of Elsa Bloodstone's new look, and also also there is a director's cut. There's also a director's cut of next wave number one as you can see with this red cover here i like this very much so i found both of these for um i believe cover price either cover price or less than cover price so yeah and the difference in the director's cut which makes it a director's cut is the cover and the and you get the script the full script um, in the last few pages. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah. Next wave. Agents of Hate number one. Um, what, did I say what this book is going for? So, um, this first print here is going for like $15. It's, it's respectable. It's respectable. And the director's cut, I don't think anybody really knows about. Because this book really doesn't go for too much. All right. So, next wave. Agents of Hate. So pick that up. Uh, Young Justice number one. Uh, I believe I found that for probably cover price or maybe even a little bit less than cover price. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Avengers Children's Crusade number nine. Uh, this is where uh, you have the, um, the gay kiss, which was banned in... Brazil or Argentina or somewhere in South America. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. And uh, what is this book going for? I picked this up for less than cover price. What is this book going for? Maybe like $10 or something like that. Okay. All right. And, and America number six. Uh, this is a uh, Jen Bartel cover. And it is a cover swipe of Love and Rockets number 24. All right, so what is this book going for? I don't know. This book is doing very respectably, like around like around a $15 to $20 book. All right, very cool, very cool. All right, okay, now let's get into the depackaging of uh, some of these comics here. Now, this book here, I mean, this package here, I have no clue. Actually, I do have an idea what is in it, but I'm not quite sure. So we're going to open this bad boy up. We're going to leave that Captain Britain up there. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's all on camera. We got, we got my trusty box cutter. We got the buck 50. These packages, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. We got this. What is this? What? What the hell is? What is? What is all this? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. So let's see. Let's try to keep it all on camera, player. Keep it all on camera. All right. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. We got. Uh, but the most important thing is not the <laughs> not to mess up the books. That's the most important thing. All right. What is in here? What is in here? All right, so we've got oh, Captain Marvel. Okay, Captain Marvel twenty. 
Catwoman 24. Oh, so this is from a while ago. Um, Captain Marvel 20. B cover. Thor 6. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, really? I bought this shit? <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. Whatever. I was wondering what the... Okay. It is definitely not what I expected. Damn. I, I wasted some money, didn't I? This is from a while ago. Oh, man. I hope I recouped that money somehow, some way. Uh, let's do... Man, this is some really doofusy packaging. Now, I like this here. I did not do this. I didn't do this. Like, it, so he repurposed the package, which is fine. But you think you just cross it out? You cross all this shit out instead of like adding more weight to the package. I don't know. Very doofusy packaging. Okay. I don't know. He just kept like I I shot this guy a best offer for this. And, like, the offer that he shot back was, like, a dollar below what the what the price was. And so uh, I'm just like, oh, this guy's an idiot. This guy's a fucking doofus. Uh, and it is reflected even further in the packaging here. So, what did I buy? What did I buy? Okay. We have ourselves a... Found myself another copy of Star Wars The Screaming Citadel number one fried pie variant. I believe I paid, God, I want to say like a little, like maybe 11 or 12 dollars for this. Okay, you know what? I want this thing out of my room. I want this thing out of my room. This nasty ass packaging. I want this out. Hold on, hold on. I just want this out of here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to sanitize my hands from that gross-ass packaging. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we're back. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Now, I kind of hyped this book up to where it's roughly like maybe a $20 book. Uh, the first appearance of the planet... Katath Atten, first appearance of the Queen of Katath Atten, and you have a, um, a team up of Luke Skywalker and Dr. Aphra. So, yeah, all right. So, it's what is this book going for now? Like 20 bucks? All right, cool. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm down with that. All right, what's next? We got three more packages to go. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. What is in here? I don't know what the hell is in here, so let's see. Let's see. I don't know what's in here. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know what is in here. Man, okay. It's like a, one of those Russian nesting dolls. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? And it is... Oh! <laughs> Astonishing X-Men number 10 variant. So I'm pretty sure I paid $8 ship for this. Okay, so all of that packaging for this. Okay, so first appearance of... First appearance of... Blah, 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 sword. First, first full appearance of Sword. How about that? First full appearance of Sword. Uh, what is in here? We got the buck fifty this package in player. Come on. Oh Jesus, oh, this is really annoying. Uh... <laughs> I forget how this thing folds out. Come on. Oh gosh, come on. <laughs> Oh, I can't open it. I can't open it. Oh, no, no. oh come on, man. I'm just adding time to the 
video. <laughs> this wasn't on camera. Oh, come on. All right, all right, all right. What are we doing? Where, so where's this thing fold out? Yeah, come on. Oh, jeez. I'm not stopping this, and I'm not editing it out. Come on. Because honestly, my editing sucks, so... Nuts to that. Okay, here we go. Here we go, player. Damn, I kill. I literally killed this packaging. I don't think I'll be able to reuse this. <laughs> okay, never mind. All right. Okay, what did I pick up? What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? I got Teen Titans Future State number two. All right, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Ooh, ooh, nice. Ooh. I'll tell you what. Teen Titans Future State number two. B cover. All right, okay, okay. All right, it's all good. It's all good. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. So we got um, Taskmaster number three, one in 25 variant. Uh, pay, how much was this? This was like 20 bucks or something like that. Like $22. Nice. Nice. I Okay. I really don't like this cover. <laughs> like, I, it's like I can see what the artist uh, Shane Davis is trying to do. But it, I think it would have worked better because the the pose in and of itself is like very like Black Widow's pose is very staticky, and it's just like very just ew, it's just very it feels stiff it feels stiff, and it, it to me it would have worked better if like either all of this like this background were black, and like Black Widow Black Widow's suit was black like kind of like how. Um, um, who's the guy that does like those negative, those negative covers, negative space covers? I think is um, John Tyler Christopher, I believe. And uh, like, and if you would have had like the Taskmaster fill in where uh, Black Widow's body is on the on, in there in like in her out i don't know just this just is this just doesn't work to me this doesn't work i don't like it it just looks stiff looks stiff it's like i it's like i saw what he was going for but not feeling it not feeling it and also from the same package uh future state second print okay all right we got one more we got one more package we got one more this is weird because i bought like i've been buying a lot online and i've re and i I, did, I haven't bought this much online in a very probably in like a couple of years because i just don't i just don't see the need to buy online but eh, you see a deal all right what the hell god i do not like this i'm afraid i'm gonna mess something up Oh no. This feels like a little much. This feels like a little much. By way of packaging. It's like I'll destroy this book before I even get it out of the packaging. Oh, come on, stop it. Oh, jeez. Really? Really? This is unnecessary. <laughs> this is really unnecessary. Don't make me destroy the book or damage the book. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, come on, homie. Come on. You're killing me. All right, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? What do we... Ooh, ooh, nice, nice, nice. We got, ooh, look at that. Look at that. So we've got Monsters Unleashed, number four, the one in 25 variant. I picked this up for 40 bucks. I figured um, 
since what moon girl and devil dinosaur they're making their way to tv it's uh it's the animated route but uh it's still exposure and I, and i noticed that like moon girl devil dinosaur variants like through in their own series like those are really like very respectably you know respectable by way of the aftermarket so let me go on ahead and buy buy this one you know what i'm saying so i got this for 40 eh, it's a it is what it is so yeah that's my haul i'm sticking to it don't treat me like some guilty pleasure you hit that like button and uh what's this book and here's the thing i don't know what this book really goes for especially and i'm not quite sure what this book is going to go for in the future but this this is a gorgeous gorgeous cover and it's part of the connecting like connecting cover variant with uh number number one two three and five and i have like those other issues i don't think i have five though but yeah yeah, so this is actually this is my second copy. I believe I paid ten dollars for uh, my, for the first copy, but uh, I don't know. I just feel like in the long run, this book will do some real damage. You know what I'm saying? So I figured I'd pick it up. All right, so now that's my haul. I'm sticking to it, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye.